down to six. Chauncey still with it. All the way. Can't get it to drop. Duncan gets the rebound. Timeout San Antonio. Timeout taken by the Spurs. 9.4 seconds. And they let Billups handle it himself. He goes in. He can't score. And now the Spurs have a chance to tie or even win the game if they get a three-pointer. Now this is just a great move. A great defensive effort right there by the Spurs. And then rebounding the ball in track. And if you notice, Duncan was on the pressure, and then Ori came from the opposite side to get right up there and intimidate that last shot. A lot of pressure on Tim Duncan after that fourth quarter, and especially from the free throw line where he has four out of 11 tonight. He has 26 points, he has 19 rebounds, but from the line missing seven out of 11. Closing seconds, you have Duncan. That could have won it in regulation. Wallace, very lucky that the clock had expired, and here you go in overtime. Now, Ben Wallace says defense and big time out. I mean, he's been chesting him up, and he's really made it difficult for Timmy. And that was just a careless catch, no doubt about it. That's like an unforced turnover. Right now, San Antonio has one full timeout in a 22nd. Detroit has two full timeouts. Main thing right now, you notice, Ginobili has been a key guy down the wire in the fourth quarter and in the overtime, taking people off the dribble from the top of the circle. What about the possibility of going for three? Uh, well, the key thing right now is is off any type of a drive. The one thing that you cannot do is leave the key three-point shooters unattended. By that, we mean Bowen in the corner or Ori out on the top. You must stay with these people and stay at home. You think Popovich wants to get into the Duncan? Uh, well, well, you have no idea what, what the call is. Everything so far has been off the dribble. The one thing you do is if you go straight into Duncan, you know now that you're putting the pressure on Duncan if he gets fouled, that he's got to go to the foul line and make the foul shot. And if you're Larry Brown, if they get it into Duncan, do you want to foul him the way Tim's been at the line tonight? Well, that depends upon what Larry's strategy is. Uh, rather than give him any kind of a open, high percentage shot. Those are the questions. Here come the answers. Hunter is into the game for Chauncey Billups. So they put Lindsey Hunter into the game, the great defender. Billups out for this sequence. Ori to inbound. Now they have Prince on Ginobili, Hunter on Parker. Here's Ginobili. Oh, they to Ori open. for three. Oh, oh unbelievable. Oh, this guy is off the charts. Robert Ori from being on the arc. He can't be 30. He's got to be 25. I mean, Robert Ori has been around so long, you would think. And with the bum shoulder as well, here he is. I mean, just clutch shot after clutch shot. I uh, yell story. The most dangerous guy is the guy out of bounds. And that time they put the ball right into the corner. And then as they trap down, they go away from Robert Ori. You know, you know that the most dangerous guy is the guy out of bounds. You stay with the three-point shooter, especially a three-point shooter of Robert Ori's magnitude. Well, he won two titles as a Rocket, three as a Laker. Now he seeks his first as a San Antonio Spur. Five out of six from three-point range, 5.9 seconds. Ori has five of the seven points in overtime. Now you have plenty of time here, Detroit. You still have one timeout. All right? San Antonio cannot foul. All right, they are in the penalty. All right, big key right now, Detroit. 5.98 seconds, a lot of time. Okay, you know that you can get the ball in bounds, and then you can make an offensive screen or whatever you want, or come off of a screen and roll. The big thing is you have plenty of time. Just take your time and do not force up a low percentage shot. No foul to give. All teams will inbound. Yeah, all teams have pet plays 
from the sideline at this time in a ball game. Now San Antonio, they wanted to take a look. They took a look, and they get to call a timeout. They're calling it 20 right now. 20 second timeout. 5.9 seconds remaining in overtime. Classic. Oh, this, <laughs> this has been absolutely fantastic. Terrific game. Yes, really great is. game. And uh, uh, for San Antonio, uh, Robert Ory has just been magnificent. But also the fact that was a great play by Ginobili running that baseline, taking the trap, and then finding Robert Ory. Uh, now, at this end of the floor, Al, this is a situation where whether they are going to look, now we are getting another timeout. So we have back to back. Uh, this is uh, gamemanship. This is chess. Uh, what you're going to do, they are going to. Uh, this should be a full. And it is. And right now, with 5.8 remaining, this is a full timeout taken here. Kayshawn Prince ready to inbound the ball. You've got the Wallaces in the game, Ben and Rashid. You've got Hamilton in the game. And you've got Chauncey Billups. Now they're bringing Chauncey Billups. He was trying to come up the middle. And here is Hamilton now. Hamilton with an elbow into the face of Parker. Can't make the shot. Bowen comes away with it, and the San Antonio Spurs can go home and just win one out of two and capture a third NBA championship in seven seasons. So it was Tony Parker with the defense on the last play. And all of the air has been sucked out of the palace of Auburn Hills as the Spurs win the fifth game and lead in the series three games to two. Now you can see that was an offensive foul. They could have called it that way. I know the Detroit fan is saying, you thought that Hamilton was fouled. You can see now. Just watch right there. So he cleaned Parker away with that elbow right in there, right in the face area. Now he did not get a good look at the basket. Give San Antonio credit because they stopped Chauncey Phillips from making the catch on that inbounds pass. 96-95 San Antonio. Let's go to Michelle. Well, who should we talk to other than Robert Ory? That huge three-pointer to ice this thing. What was the play design? What happened on the play, Robert? Actually, the play, I was supposed to get out, and Manu cut to the basket, and Rasheed bit. So, and I've been shooting it pretty good, so I was going to let it fly. Shooting it pretty good is an understatement. I mean, the, the uncanniness of what you can do down the stretch under pressure. How, how do you explain that? I just like to play basketball and have fun. A lot of guys take the game so serious. As you know, in crunch time, I'm out there still smiling and enjoying the game. You got to enjoy it. Now, you know that people love to call you Big Shot Bob. You don't like it. You like it even less when Tim Duncan calls you Big Shot Bobby. <laughs> Are you going to let him call you that tonight? He can call me whatever he wants to. You know, that's just all about being good teammates. All right, Robert, congratulations. Let's go to Tim now, who's right here. Before the game, Tim, Greg Popovich guaranteed you would be a different player tonight. How did he know? Uh, uh, you know what? I just want to come out and, and give good effort. Uh, last two games, real disappointing what I did out there. Uh, a lot of the shots that were taken weren't going down for me. I thought I'd stay with the same game plan and just see if I can knock some down. We've had two blowouts in San Antonio, two blowouts here in Detroit. First close game was tonight. What was the difference for you guys? Big shot Bob. Or big shot Bobby as you like. Big shot Bobby. As you go home now with a 3-2 advantage, with two opportunities to close this thing out at home, how do you guys now view this opportunity? How will you approach this? Well, we view this game six as, uh, as the one we got to get. Those guys are great in game seven. They've been through a bunch of them. Uh, facing elimination, they're probably the best team around, period. Uh, we know that uh, we came with a much better focus today. We're going to come with that same focus. We'll have our crowd behind us. It'll be a different ball game. And finally, Tim, how would you describe the feelings, the emotions, watching that three go in by Robert Ory to, to put you guys ahead and then stopping Detroit on the other end? Prayers, all prayers. <laughs> the ball was let go. I was just hoping it would go in. And uh, uh, it, it's such a roller coaster tonight. Um, missing the tap in at the end, uh, end of uh, regulation, missing free throws down the stretch, and then coming here and, and getting down four and then hitting shots. It's just a, a roller coaster, left and right, up and down. Uh, just stayed with it, and it's just teammates are just huge. We'll see you in game six. Thank you. Al?